Okay, Leah, you're on. Hi, everybody. I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and welcome to my shop. This is the 2017 shop tour, and the truth is, is our very first shop tour. Now, you guys have written in and said, Leah, when are you going to do your shop tour? Well, guess what? This is it, and I'm pretty excited about it as well. Okay, let me show you the shop. Come on, Zach. Come on, boy. Come on. We're going to start over here. Now, this is going to be a quick shop tour. I promise you, it's not going to go on forever. I'm just going to take you around my shop, show you how I do things, keep things organized, and I'm going to show you a few of my tools. Now, right now, we're in a section of the shop that you probably have never seen before. This is where I keep a lot of the hardware. Down here, there's some wooden buttons. There's some washers here, some screws, nuts, bolts, that kind of stuff. Now let's move on to this storage bin that I'm leaning on because I want to show you how I keep my shop manuals. Come here, Zach. Good boy. Okay, let me show you where I keep my shop manuals. And these are all the manuals that come with the tools. I always like to keep them handy and I always make certain that I attach the tools that come with the tool itself. That way I can always keep up with it. And if it were just laying around, I probably would say, well, what the heck does that go to? Now I know. Okay, so let's get started with some of the woodworking tools. This is my thickness planer and my joiner station. So the first one is a wind thickness planer. And I like it because it was really reasonable in terms of a price and it rated very, very high on Amazon, and I always look to rating for tools. Now, next to it, because I like to keep the thickness planer and uh, the joiner together, okay? Because usually they work as a team. This is just a simple uh, bench joiner. Uh, I will also tell you this. This is another model, this Porter Cable. It rated really high, and it was reasonably priced. Now, right below the bench joiner is it's not a tool, it's a bocce ball set because sometimes we go outside and we toss around the bocce balls because this is a game I love. So I always keep it in the shop. Okay, so right in front is my 8 inch bench grinder. It's got a, a grinding stone on it and on the other side it has its wire wheel. Behind the bench grinder, you notice that I use the magnetic strips whenever I get a chance to because I like to use the walls for storage. There's my pipe clamps and I've got a dolly there. Now if you come next to the bench grinder, what you'll find here is a track table. If you haven't seen one of these things, they're terrific. You, know, you can put things on your track table, lock them in place, and then when you're not using the table, you can just pull it out of the way, place it where you need it, and then just stow it back. Now I promised you it was going to be quick. So in the corner there is a grizzly dust collector. Now I haven't hooked it up yet because I've got to pipe the shop first. Next to that is a bandsaw. Right next to it is a Ryobi a scroll saw. I don't use this too often, but when I do it serves the purpose. Next is a storage cart. It's on wheels. That's one of the things I like about it. I also put on a two by four top so I can use it as a workstation if I need to. I store my tools below. The cart moves easily if I need to get to my auto supplies and auto tools. Now right above the auto section is my lathe station. And I've got this little swinging apparatus that I really like because it keeps my tools, my chuck, and various armrests organized. And then it swings out of the way so I can, I can turn on my lathe. 
Okay, so here's the thing. I don't whistle while I work, but I do listen to music when I come in in the morning and during the afternoon. Uh, this is my CDs here that I listen to. Luther is on right now. This is uh, Cosby, Still, Nash & Young. Anyway, I keep my music here. Now down here I have more things that I use uh, with my lathe. I have sandpaper. I have a few blanks. This here, this is a set of uh, uh, lathe tools. They're smaller because they're meant for turning um, blanks for ink pens. Now, if you notice, I got a bunch of cardboard here, and I got to tell you, there's nothing more handy than cardboard, and guess what? It's free. So keep your cardboard, because when you spray paint or you're using uh, any kind of material that stains, you want to protect the surface that you're working on. Now, the heart of my workshop is my table saw. I have a Laguna Fusion. Really love the way it cuts. Love this saw. And right behind it is my outfeed table. Now sometimes, this is where you'll see me doing CJ drills opening, right in front of the table saw. What I want to say is, if you have a small shop and you want to have some open space, one of the best places to have a lot of space to walk around is right in front of your table saw and around your table saw. Now right near the table saw, near the outfeed table, I keep a couple jigs. I have a jig here and then I have a jig back in the back of the table saw. Now let's come around to the front of the outfeed table. Now right below the outfeed table are storage bins. I like to utilize every bit of shelf space I possibly can. And these storage bins hold tools that, well, I don't use every day. For example, this one says sandpaper, so I know all my sandpaper is right there in that container. Now, right behind the outfeed table is my router table. Now, if we go below the router table, okay, so below the router table is my Porter Cable Router. And again, it rated very high and it was reasonably priced. Now, right Right below the router table are the accessories for the table. Setup bars are here. I've got some, you know, push pads, a uh, feather board. These are router bits. I keep, I just keep them in the original case because it just makes it easier for me. One of the things I believe that makes a good work shop is utilizing every bit of space you can. In this case, utilizing the walls. I have magnetic strips so that they are holding all my screwdrivers, not all of them, but a lot of them, um, wrenches, my plastering tools and drywall tools are out. So I, I've got easy access as well. They're out of the way, but I can grab them when I need them. If we move along the wall, you'll see that I've installed a French cleat system and it does the same thing. I'm utilizing the wall as storage. Now the nice thing about a French cleat system are these components, they're not fixed. You can take them right off and move them. Maybe you want to rearrange your tool wall and it makes it easy to do that. It's very adaptable. And I know I get a lot of jokes about this. This is my DeWalt chop saw and I think I've had it for maybe 15 years. Who knows how old this thing is, but I'll tell you what, it works like a champ, and that's why I keep it. Now beneath my chop saw is, believe it or not, it's a toolbox. So this is where I store some miscellaneous tools, but mostly I store my electrical and plumbing tools here with some electrical and plumbing supplies. And my compressor is to the left of the toolbox. I can just roll it out to where I need it. Well, here's something that I decided to do one day. I just got tired of looking for drill bits. And I figured if I took some of the more popular drill bits that I use and just put them where I can see them, I'll never have to search again. And I got to tell you, it really has worked and aided me in my shop. And I set it up right next to the drill press. And this drill press, believe it or not, I, I, I got it for absolutely zero on Craigslist. And it took me a while to restore at a few weekends, but I gotta tell you, I love it. Works like a dream. Here I keep my good chisel set. I got a pocket jig. This is a dowel set. Beneath this, this is my dado stack. 
um, some more chisels, and this is just a little disc and belt sander. Now this is my main workbench, and you've probably seen me here before. To my left, which is your right, is my vise, and right below the vise is where I keep a lot of my stock. Because you can never have enough places to tuck wood away. This is just one of them. Now I'll tell you, my shop is pretty modest. It's just 20 by 20, just a little over 400 feet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make certain that I put a link in the description below to some of the tools, not all of the tools that I've shown you in my shop tour, so you can check them out for yourself. Now, I got to tell you, this is the first shop tour, and I really enjoyed having you in my space. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.